Hey guys, it's Alora. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with another SimStore video. <laughs> Welcome if you're new. My name is Alora. I make SimStore content on the channel. Today, I wanted to show you guys my little comfort family that I've been playing with for a couple days now. I just wanted to step away from Juliet's save file and just play with another family. Like, I love this family so much. So let me stop talking and get into the video. So this is Terry Cleveland and he just came home from his job he is a handyman and he's just had a really long day so he's just relaxing and chillaxing after just working so this is Terrence's home I am playing in the Silent Pines base game save file and I haven't really explored too much yet so I wanted to do some of that with you guys as well so far I really like this the save file it's really really cozy and just like so well done and I just had to explore it I just thought why not explore it with you guys I did renovate the home a little bit I just changed it up a little bit it used to be blue and I made it white and yeah I think it's nice I think it's cool we have like their little family car out front I wish we could <laughs> drive in the sims 4 but maybe one day I just added like some marbles the boys love to come out here and play and hang out play some basketball with their dad and the mom Rochelle Cleveland she does a little gardening sometimes so we have that in the front yard the home is pretty big but I've decided to only just use the upstairs and I think maybe later I'll add like a family downstairs but Cleveland is up <laughs> Cleveland <laughs> Terry <laughs> Terry is up he is a little bit angry but when I when I chose his trait angry, I didn't mean it like he's like a, like an angry person. I just feel like he gets a little bit, um, he can get riled up very easily. So maybe a car drove by and just woke him up out of his sleep. He's just like, you know what? I'm just going to go get started on dinner because everyone will be home soon. I think he's going to go with maybe some udon soup. Terry does like to cook. It's his aspiration that he wants to complete. He's not a chef or anything, but he really enjoys cooking. He is getting everything ready. I, I do want to show you guys around the house. So we do have two boys, Miles and Chris. They are twins. But this is their little quaint little home. I love I, when they're home. The boys are home. That's just great. Miles has been working hard and is now an A student. Good job, Miles. Chris is back home from school. No need to make room on the refrigerator. His work is barely satisfactory. <laughs> Aw. Miles is our little geek and Chris you know he's more of our social little kid so um oh no I wanted to pick that up <laughs> um but we can address that later but the boys are home they're just probably gonna run in here and it's like dad dad we're home from school and he's like hey hey you guys give his little his little boy some hugs how was school? How was school? It was okay. It was okay. That's good he's like oh my god dad like I'm an A, I'm an A student now he's like no way <laughs> Chris is like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, but it's playful. Like, they love each other. They really do. But he's just, like, talking and telling dad about school and everything. As I said, Chris is more of our, like, social kid. And um, he's just gonna come in here and probably make some, play some, play some video games or watch some TV. That's what he usually does when he gets home from school. Miles is our little, like, I don't want to say troublemaker because he's not really a troublemaker in that sense. But he's definitely, like, the outspoken one. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, how sweet. But he's just like, proud of you, kiddo. It's like, thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. I'm gonna go see what my bro is up to. <laughs> like, do you want to play some catch later or something? He's like, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we really want to play that game. So he's probably like, Chris, Chris, come on. Let's, let's play that game we wanted to play. Come on. And he can join in. <laughs> but getting back to showing you guys off the little home. So in here, we have their bedroom. Really, really nice and neat. Um, Rochelle likes to keep her her you know her house neat and tidy especially her bedroom so it's it's like really simple and quaint you know you got a little family pictures and stuff the boys working on school projects while making the room I was really inspired like by what I grew up with and what I saw in, in like in my parents' room and I just remember like they had to share like on the dresser space and like things would be cluttered on top of things and I just thought it was just so cute okay let me have Cleveland go do something let's see he can uh start on some laundry let's unload and put that away there's a little entryway really really cute i really want i don't think he's a neat person i think he's just tidying up so his wife doesn't complain <laughs> is rochelle i found some simoleons i'm gonna make yeah go for it girl because rochelle likes to keep a, a clean home and so if it's not clean she's gonna come make 
she's gonna come home and make some noise so i think he's just doing it to please his wife but as i was saying this is their entryway i really enjoyed making it because i just think like the kids would just come home and put their shoes all over the place <laughs> I loved it. The boys have their little like play area, basketball, soccer, just some crayons and everything. I think forever and ever my favorite space of a home will always be the kitchen and I stand by it. I think I spend the most time in the kitchen and I just... I just I love it <laughs> lots of cereal boxes like the kids would have their little own cups and stuff and it'd be so cute here I'm gonna have to leave and put this in the fridge so it doesn't get spoiled I love it I just really like the clutter and everything and the kids like their artwork is on the wall I just really wanted it to look really lived in and this is the boys boys bedroom over here is Miles' side he's like a geek at heart so you know i feel like you'd have like the sims games and all of that they have some snacks and stuff in their room over here is chris's side of the room he has a lot of like <laughs> posters up really really cute and books the boys have their little money jar up here it's miles's <laughs> so cute it's 12 bucks and so we got a little laundry space i love i don't know who made this but this was so it's so nostalgic to me because of just like growing up and seeing stuff like this and i don't get to see it very often now but it was just i love seeing that and like the clothes pins and i love it a little bathroom got some magazines on the floor this is their living room this is actually clean blends i think he's gonna put that in his inventory because he is a little bit of a smoker i feel like this is rochelle back when she was younger i think it's just a beautiful photo and yeah here's the our little living room got some albums on the wall some old family like um i don't know i feel like they would they found this like at a thrift store and they just like organized it to make it look really neat together and yeah i got some workout things the boys are getting hungry so i think he's gonna use the bathroom rochelle is home and he's gonna grab some oxdale oxdale and rice and peas she's like hey buddy how was school it's like it's good mom terry's gonna come in and give his wife a little hug and say how was work i need to change her work outfit because i don't think that's this that's her style but it came with the um it's her work outfit i don't know why i blanked on that but he's like i hope you had a good day she's like yeah it was good it was good i'm gonna go hit the shower anyone in the shower miles go ahead and eat something miles mm -mm. not cereal buddy <laughs> dad made some nice soup you can grab some soup chris is gonna clean up and get started on his homework and i think miles will do the same but they're just talking about their day. Rochelle is a um, hairstylist, so I feel like she just works in the neighborhood somewhere, does hair. I guess I should tell you guys about them a little bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Probably was like complaining and said, you know, I was taking a nap, honey, and um, a truck went by, woke me up out of my sleep. He's like, oh, come here. <laughs> But Rochelle is neat. She's nosy. She likes to know the no, you know, like the the gossip. I feel like at her salon, she's like, oh, tell me more, girl. <laughs> she's a music lover. She's a foodie. She's a lover. She doesn't want any kids right now. I put them in like their mid 40s, so definitely no kids. <laughs> she loves to do yoga, so she has like the spa membership. Cleveland is a romantic family man. I keep did I say Cleveland? Terry. When I say he loves his family, he loves his home life, and he loves that comfort, comfortability, comfortability but he's not faithful to his wife he is having an affair with meredith goodson and it started off as playful i didn't do what you guys he did complimented her or something and i've just been rolling with it so <laughs> there's that he's gonna take a quick shower and i think cleveland's gonna clean up and, and grab some dinner what are you boys doing did you finish your homework like yeah dad i did i did miles being like our geek i think he's gonna do some extra credit work oh you're stuck hold on i got you buddy let me teleport you over here <laughs> but he's gonna do some extra credit mom's done she's gonna come grab some, some dinner as well she's like hey boys hey mom how was your day this guy's being bullied at school i don't think he's being bullied at school no bent about social life he's like mom i never have friends over can i please invite someone over tomorrow she's like yeah you should he's actually getting sleepy she's like no i'm sorry you feel that way you can always invite someone over thank you for asking permission um terry is gonna be like praise his kindness and say thanks for cleaning up buddy and you're doing so well and he's probably just like honey did you hear did uh miles tell you he's he's an a student now like no way like yeah way 
<laughs> good job good job both of you how are you doing in school chris chris is a c student so she's probably gonna say well are you struggling in something is is that what's going on let's see what we can do for him she's just like anything that happens you just let me know i got your back maybe you just need a tutor or you know miles you can help your your younger brother out you know give him some give him some um some tips to you know get his grades up oh they're so cute they're just chit chatting with each other nurturing instincts from reassuring their child they've got their backs oh good company <laughs> togetherness <laughs> i love it i love it i love it oh someone's coming up is someone gonna ding dong door oh no it's luna luna is um rochelle's friend come on in come on in i feel like they're like church sisters like they go to church together and um she just comes over here and there they'll do a nice hug Maybe like sister luna how are you this how are you this evening like, i'm good just wanted to come over you know what maybe they they have a girls night tonight maybe they're watching something on tv maybe let's see watch channel watch a movie let's see maybe they got like a a favorite show they watch together like sister sisters or something <laughs> and someone just ding dong door ditched <laughs> anyways Oh, Miles feels accepting by being reassured by his, by his parents and he's feeling empowered. He's like, he got some good advice from his mom. So even though um, Miles is doing a little bit extra well in school, they don't really pressure Chris into um, doing anything, you know, he doesn't want to do or, you know, they, they just encourage him to do, try his best. So I think that's really, really nice. I think the boys are just going to go play. You know, I actually want them to go outside and play some, some basketball together. I think that would be nice sensitive oh you know they're just having that girl talk Ooh, look who's calling while everyone is you know enjoying their night doing their thing um terry gets a message from meredith saying hey do you want to grab a couple of drinks at the bar tonight and he is going to decline because he's gonna go but he he can't just you know leave out like that you know he has to tell his wife you know honey uh i think i'm gonna head out um with the boys tonight or something like that you know he can't just can't just leave so i think he's just like hey girls oh our laundry's broken i need to fix that <laughs> miss luna's heading out she's like good night sister good night good night we'll finish up the episode another time and he's like listen honey the boys um are having a little bit of a a boys night tonight um i'm just gonna head out if that's cool with you and she's like yeah yeah i know what i'm luna told me some upsetting news and he's like are you okay she's like yeah yeah you 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 go have fun um i'll put the boys to bed you know don't don't be out too late now he's like of course um but maybe luna told her some some news let's go ahead and call the property owner to come fix it His, her husband could fix it but you know, it, I, I like when the property owners come on, you know, come. I think it's cool. Oh, Luna's out here playing with the boys. <laughs> but dad's probably like, hey, boys. Hey, hey, hey. It's almost 10, almost time for bed, you know? Like, yeah, okay, dad. Like, you know, come on in. Oh, look at you, though, Miles. Nice shot, buddy. All right, you guys go brush your teeth and get ready for bed. He's like, okay, dad. They're so cute. <laughs> Where are you going, dad? Oh, you know, just gonna enjoy a couple drinks with the boys. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> they are so cute. So now I think he's gonna send Meredith a happy text and say, Hey, you know what? We actually can go. To, we can grab those drinks. Um, He's feeling confident. He's like, you know. <laughs> uh, yes, let's go enjoy the day. Oh, should we go to the park instead? No, no. They're probably gonna meet up at like a motel or something. <laughs> And there's probably a bar there. So I think that's what he's going to do. But Luna, sister Luna is right here. So he's probably whispering and saying, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll meet you there. <laughs> but this is the world that comes with the Pines um, save file. Yeah, it's called Silent Pines. They renamed it. It was the world before that I'm completely blanking on right now. But, <laughs> you know, Willow Creek. And I think it's so, so cool. There's, I think it's so cool. There's so much things to do. The motel, church venue. There's some more lots that I know are, are empty that I would love to put new families down. There's like a family park and stuff that, you know, maybe the boys can go hang out with their friends later. There's like a library, gym, more bar, country club, diner. 
another diner and maybe when the boys are like teenagers they can go visit like the internet cafe i think it's really really cool but for terry's meetup he's gonna go to the motel which has a bar so we'll see you there this is just keeps happening with me you guys if anybody knows how this works but every time i travel my entire household comes with me so pretend that they weren't there <laughs> Please. But Meredith is I don't really know a lot about Meredith. Um all I know is that Terry really likes her company and they have been hanging out. Oh my god, this alien doesn't have a head. I'm just I'm just going to delete the sim. Sit together and enjoy some drinks together. The usual? Do you want your usual drink? And she's like, "Yeah, if you can remember it." <laughs> So we're gonna order her drink and then he's gonna order his own drink. I think her favorite drink is like um a martini. And he's out here. He is oh he's like, you look so good today and everything. Oh my gosh. I I can't narrate this because I get so giggly when I do crazy things in my game, but oh she already ordered her own drink. She ordered her own. Oh, okay the bartenders are switching i think i think cleveland just is just gonna steal this drink right here and he's just gonna have um some wine <laughs> let's pretend he ordered some wine but he is he's just admiring her and he's just like you look so you look so nice today you're pretty and cute <laughs> catching eyeing a catch meredith noticed someone attractive and is hoping they will find interest in her as well oh she's like hmm you are really cute <laughs> Oh my goodness. Here, I'm going to have them sit over here together. But they are getting cozy over here in the back and just admiring each other. And I couldn't tell you really why Cleveland is having this affair. I think it's more like just excitement for him. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's like thrilling, I guess. He's in his 40s, maybe he's having a little bit of a midlife crisis. But, ooh, oh my goodness but yeah he thinks she's really attractive he, he also thinks his wife is really attractive too yeah he finds his wife really attractive like they are deeply in love she she is deeply in love with him this is just something thrilling for him and you know what but he's just like I feel like he already said it but you look really nice but um i think meredith just gives him an extra boost of confidence and he just feels really good when he's around her and you know with rochelle it's more like a steadiness like you know like a it's more like stability with rochelle like he knows that he has her and you know like that type of awful way of thinking but it's it's the truth he wears his ring so meredith definitely knows that he's a married man and this is a small town so it's it's kind of it's kind of risky for them to be doing this but they don't really care i guess <laughs> It doesn't look like the dancing will work, so I'm just gonna go with something else. But maybe they're just getting a little bit handsy right now. And so, you know, she's just like, um, the motel is open and like the hotel is open. We should get a room and you know, all that. <laughs> My goodness. And he's like, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's go get a room then, right? I'm gonna use this one. Let's go here. It is now 1.25. I'm sure Rochelle is sleeping and the boys are sleeping and, um, you know, he's going to sneak in because <laughs> he has to. They are here. But, um, they're getting handsy. The night is going to go how the night wants to go for them. <laughs> we'll see what time Cleveland is going to get home. Mr. Cleveland is going to get home to his family. Cleveland is basically sneaking in. Look at him. He's like, shh. <laughs> he is going to sneak. Oh my God, someone left poop on our on our door. He's, uh, you know, trying to be as quiet as possible. It's four in the morning. And he's just gonna go right into bed. <laughs> his wife has no idea that it's that late, but he cuddles up with his wife and um does he feel any guilt i don't know but in this moment i think he's he's content he had a good night with his 
side boo <laughs> and now he's with his wife his stability you know the one that he knows is gonna stick beside him basically <laughs> but i think i'm gonna leave it off here you guys i hope you liked this this was really random <laughs> but i just wanted to show you guys what i've been doing um because i feel like juliet takes takes a lot of um space on this channel and i know you guys love her households and everything and i just wanted to try something new and hope i hope you guys liked it please don't be afraid to leave a comment and tell me how you think thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys